Hi friends, welcome to Kaizen View. This video will explore the different aspects of drywall or gypsum partition insulation. To start with, let's understand what is insulation and what purpose does it serve. Insulation is basically required to provide a thermal acoustic barrier in a gypsum partition, which is typically hollow and can be a significant source of heat loss or acoustic issues without the insulation. Generally, a concrete block wall will not require insulation due to its bulk mass, which provides an effective barrier which not only seals any potential air transfer, but also inhibits heat sound transfer. This is what differentiates the two types of partition system, one which is hollow and requires insulation, and the other itself act as insulation due to its sheer solid bulk. Now you might be thinking that, oh in that case, block wall partition system is better than gypsum partition. Well, that may not be entirely true as drywall partition system has significant advantages offered by being easy and fast to construct. It's all dry unlike the cement mix required for block wall partition and also can be installed very quickly. Coming back to insulation. There are basically two types of insulation, thermal and acoustic. Thermal insulation, as the name suggests, restricts the flow of heat between the two spaces, while acoustic insulation restricts the flow of sound between the two surfaces. Where to use thermal and acoustic insulation? Thermal insulation is used in exterior partition systems, which are exposed to weather on the exterior side while acoustic insulation is used commonly in interior partition systems of offices where quiet environments and privacy is required. The unit to measure the effectiveness of thermal insulation is R value, which technically measures the resistance of a surface to the conducive flow of heat. So basically, the higher the resistance of any surface to the flow of heat, will mean that the particular surface is a good thermal insulator because it is resisting the transfer of heat between the two spaces segregating it. So the higher the resistance, the higher the R value, the better the insulation that material provides. A typical range of R value of common construction materials which act as insulators is from 1.5 to 7 per inch of thickness, where 1.5 is the minimum value and 7 is the higher value. Let's see R values of some of the most typical materials. Polystyrene board has a R value of 5. High density fiberglass bats 3.6 to 5. Cardboard 3 to 4. Rock wool bats 3 to 3.85. Cellulose 3 to 3.8. Hardwood 0.71. Brick 0.2. Glass 0.14. Concrete 0.08. A word of caution. Please don't get confused with the units of R value as there are different units used in different countries. The R value discussed here will be very different if we convert the R value to SI system, which will then be called RSI value. The values I have shown here are the standard ones and are measured in square feet Fahrenheit by BTU units. So always check for units to ensure that you are comparing apples to apples. Another measure of thermal insulation is the U value, though it is simply the inverse of R value. So a good insulator will have a high R value and a low U value. For example, fiberglass bat has a R value of 3.6 and a U value of 1 by 3.6 which is 0.27 approximately. The most common thermal insulation materials used in construction industry are fiberglass insulation, rock wool insulation, polyurethane foam, cellulose insulation, polystyrene or styrofoam. Fiberglass insulation is the most common type of insulation used globally. This is manufactured by weaving very fine strands of glass into insulation material. Now since this is made from glass strands, handling can be a challenge as it's very sharp, can even create cut wounds in hands and damage organs like eyes and lungs. So always use proper PPEs before handling this. It is non-flammable and gives a R value of 3.8 per inch of thickness, which is usually pretty good. 
the top brands offering fabulous insulation are Owens Corning Gunoff Tiger Rock Full Insulation. This is manufactured from the slag collected from steel mills. However, it is flammable unlike fiberglass insulation, so should be avoided where there are high chances of catching fire. This has a R value of 3.5 per inch. The common brands are Rockwool, Saint Gobain, Dow, Dupont. Polyurethane foam are low density foam which can be sprayed into areas which require insulation. They have this unique property to expand and fill up the volume of the cavity, thereby covering any crevices and providing a very sturdy and foolproof insulation. They have a R value of 3.6 per inch and are also fire resistant. They are commonly used in United States and areas which are subjected to very cold climates. Polystyrene or styrofoam is another very good insulation material with R value going up to 4 per inch. This comes in battens, sheets and can be sandwiched between two wall surfaces. This is however flammable so fire resistant coating or spray is recommended while using this. Moving on to the second part of the video, acoustic insulation which is the most important material when you are building for offices or where acoustics and privacy are required. A very interesting point to note here is that some of the thermal insulation we have just discussed are actually very good acoustic insulators as well. The reason for that is that these materials are good at absorbing sound. So instead of measuring the R value, we will be measuring the NRC value or the STC value in order to determine the acoustic properties of the insulation. Let us first understand that how sound insulation works. Sound can either be blocked or absorbed or both to prevent its transfer to the other surface. The acoustic properties of materials which block the sound are measured by STC, which stands for sound transmission class. And the materials which absorb the sound are measured by NRC, which stands for noise reduction coefficient. An RC value being a coefficient has a range from 0 to 1, where 0 is the lowest insulation value while 1 is the highest insulation value. STC value is basically the decibel value of the material by which it can stop the sound from further transfer. So technically, there is no range. For example, if a complete partition system can stop the sound by 40 dB, then its STC value will be 40 dB which simply means that if you're sitting in a room with the partition rated for 40 STC and talking loudly, which is approximately 80 dB of noise, only 40 dB of sound will travel outside while the balance 40 dB will be stopped by the partition system. Some of the thermal insulation materials which were just described have an RC rating as well, as they are good in absorbing sound. For example, fiberglass insulation has an RC value 0.95, which is very high. Certain materials are good in blocking the sound due to their high density and mass. An example is the sound block gypsum board. This has a density higher than that of regular gypsum board. Therefore, it also aids in insulating the sound. A combination of sound block board along with other insulation materials can give us TC rating up to 70 dB. There are also sound deadening membranes which are essentially 3 to 5 mm thick very high density vinyl sheets and can provide a high STC by blocking the transfer of sound. Let's understand the most used glass wool acoustic insulation process. So once you're ready with single side boarded partition, including the placement of all partition conduits, boxes and any other fittings, you can start the installation of glass wool. This is important to ensure that all of your partition fittings are done prior, because if you install the glass wool first, before the electrical fittings, your glass wool insulation will be damaged. The first step is to inst install the glass wool holding clips. Then you fold the holding clips so that they can take up the glass wool bat. Next, you cut the glass wool bat as per the partition size, then place it on the partition. The holding clip will keep the glass wool bat at its place. Then you can fold straight the holding clip so that it is in level with insulation. That's it. Close the partition with gypsum board and you are done. Friends, insulation is such a broad subject and discussing everything in one video is not possible. I have tried to keep the video concise to the point and practically useful to all my viewers. 
there is a there is a lot more to explore in solution which i'll plan in my future videos i hope you like the content please share your comments queries and if there is anything you would like my next videos to be based on please mention that also and yes hit the subscribe button if you have not already subscribed bye for now see you soon in my next video thank you